Hello YouTube! Welcome to another tip and trick video. In this series, I show you techniques and uses with the different tools from the Swiss Army knife. Today's topic is the Swiss Army knife scissors. In the past, I thought I doesn't need a Victorinox model with the scissors for carving, hiking and bushcrafting. But in the last years, I recognized the handiness of the scissors. Here are my tips and uses. If you spend several days outdoors, and especially if you cook for other people, hand hygienic becomes very important, especially in these days. If you have long fingernails, a lot of dirt and bacteria collect under your nail. If you have scissors, you can keep the nail short and less dirt and less bacteria are under your nail. If I walk a lot or if I'm on a hike, it's very important for me to hold the toenails short. My specific problem is, if my torn toenails are long, the corner of the toenail wrap on the next toe and it can start to bleed. As soon as it comes to the first aid situation, the scissors can be very, very helpful. You can cut tape, you can cut bandage, you can cut wound plasters or blister plasters, you can cut wound dressings and, and a lot more. Of course, you can cut these things also with, with the blade, but with the scissors it's less dangerous and a lot easier. And if you are alone and you cut or you hurt your hand or your finger, so you can treat yourself one-handed. Because you can open the scissors easy with one hand. The scissors is a real game changer if I work with bark from a tree. Special if I have to cut out a complex pattern like such a stencil for a bark container or a circle for such a spoon. I have much more control when I cut out the bark with the scissors. It's less dangerous than with the blade. The bark tears less and I don't need a flat underlay. Every fisherman knows that the scissors is very helpful while fishing. For example, if you are struggling with silk or with fishing line and if you have to cut the silk very close to the knot Scissors is very useful or if you have to improvise such a fishing lure out of paracord, scissors is needed. I like to shape the fletchings of a dart with the scissors like this. Or a simple fletching with tape. Mm -hmm. 
if I craft something with aluminium cans, for example, a whistle or um, a lantern or an alcohol stove, I like to use the scissors because you have to clean or cut. I have more control while cutting and it's less dangerous. A scissors is also useful if you want to work with fabric or with leather or for example if you want to remove this tag or if you want to remove these things or if you want to shorten your trousers or if you want to uh, uh, produce uh, uh, jar flow so I make cut and and many other things. If you eat or if you cook outdoors, a scissors can be an advantage. For example, if you are on a hike and you want to open a pack of peanuts. And you just want to open the corner that when you put back the peanuts, they don't fall out in your backpack. Or if you are cooking outdoors, and if you want to cut herbs, you don't have an underlay, just take the scissors and this works fantastic. Mm. And if we're talking about herbs, I have another idea for what the scissors can be helpful. So my friend, that's it for today. I hope you like this tip and trick video. Next Friday, I'll show you how to resharpen the scissors. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!